What's going on, Internet? Brandon here. With Jimmy. And uh, we got some horror movie news. Some cool horror movie news. They're making a fourth installment of the 28 Days. The first one with uh, Sandra Bullock. Yep, which was awesome. Where she went into uh, AA. Oh, it was so yeah. cool. Uh -huh. um, I mean, that's where the zombie outbreak starts. Exactly. And there's 28 Days Later with uh, Killian Murphy. Yep. Uh, which is one of my favorite. Oh, Just when that came movies. out, that was so and it's, well uh, done. Brendan for... Gleeson and um, yeah, man, I forgot he was Doctor Who dude. Uh, oh, uh, uh, Christopher Eccleston. Yes, yeah, it was like so good. You're like watching this, like really? Who else is? Good? And uh, I can't remember what are the sidekicks. Though. And it was like a relatively low budget, yeah, movie huge, when it came huge, out. Huge low budget. Um, but uh, as far as like a good horror sequel, yeah. uh, Twenty Eight Weeks Later, yeah, uh, Jeremy, Jeremy Renner, Renner oh, uh, so good. Poots, yeah. Um, yeah, that was just that was a great. Yeah, follow shockingly up. awesome. Yeah, uh, Robert Carlyle. Yeah, yeah, I totally forgot that was with that scene when he's running out of the house and he had to leave his wife. Oh and man, all the zombies are coming down the hill. And you just yeah, no, oh. you like it was feel so it. well done, yeah. and it was like you said, it was, uh, doesn't always happen. A very good follow up to a good horror movie. Now we're getting um, the twenty eight years later. Twenty eight years later, which it's not mathematically twenty eight years later. We actually did it and went through it and. No, it's not legitimately 28 days 28 later. years later would be 2030. That's why I just said... It's, it's still not, not far off, though, years. which is wild yes. to think about that. But, I mean, either way... But the best news is... Danny Boyle? Yes. Alex Garland are coming back. So. As well as Killy Murphy. And I think I read that, and I can't remember her name. I'm sorry. Man, how crazy original? is that, though? You had him in, like, one of his first... Yeah. Low-budget horror movie appearances, and now he's an A-list Oscar-nominated actor. And it's yeah. like, hey, can we get you back for... Uh, you, you want to go remember back? that time I made your career? You remember, remember when it all started together? But that's what I love about yeah. British actors. I feel like they are so willing to be like, cool, let's do this. Yeah. Whereas American actors are like, I've already done that. I'm, I'm beyond that role. I'm it's beyond like, that. And it's like, and I mean, yeah. all Killian Murphy's done has got better. Like, yeah. he's, he's just movie. continually getting better. But he does that, like Christopher Nolan, when he was with um, uh, the Batman. Yeah. It's like, Scarecrow, oh. he didn't need to come back. No. It was hilarious every time he came back. Well, it would, what I liked about that was it built kind of continuity yes, in the world. huge. Because he was in all um, three. Yeah, which was something that wasn't really done at the time yep. with the superhero movies. So that was always cool. My, my hope is he really feels that want to just be amazeballs, and he's in Tron Aries. I really hope he comes back in Tron Aries. I don't know. <gasps> anyway, we shall see. Yeah. Um, but this is a this is a great yeah. It's it's exciting. Great news. They're um, looking for distributors right now because they're still putting the project together. So there are studios bidding on it. Last I heard, Warner Brothers was leading the way. Okay. I really don't care who distributes it. No, I could give a shit less. I just, I just want to see what, what it. they do with yes. this. And I mean, like, it was cool too because like they really do a, they do a good job of establishing like the real world. Mm -hmm. fallout of everything in the second uh installment yeah. so it's gonna be cool to see like what does what does it look like you know almost three decades later when the first movie it's like a desolate wasteland you know like the whole city's on fire and and then you know you realize that in the second one there's a little bit of order kind of restored to an extent yeah. and it's interesting because are they going to use any of the characters that were in the second one? And I only remember, I think the sister and the brother survived, but the brother was infected. And, and he, he had, had like the, the cure. Gene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but like, I just remembered Idris Elba was in it. Yeah. He was in the city. Robert Carlyle was one of the problems with... I mean, you, you know, I, know. I, I mean, so. Jeremy Renner's not making it back. That no. was, a, that was no. a bad part of the movie. No. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. He was but, uh, a hero. Yeah. The helicopter pilot, though. Yeah. Who I only remember from... TV show Oz, I can't remember. I do hope though, like as we're saying this, like the idea of it being a like political movie of like, well, we have to watch that. Like, I do hope we get some really good like horror out of this. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I think so because it's Danny Boyle and he's he's got a really good track. I also feel like no one was really asking for this. Yeah. This so the fact that he's like, hey, I have an idea for it. Yeah makes it sound like, cool, this is actually going to be... It's not like the studio is like, we need another one, make something. And that's a good point, because Alex Garland has become his own writer-director and uh -huh. awesome stuff, so he didn't need to revisit it. So they might have just been like, hey, well, we have a cool idea to kind of build on what we, yeah. we started. It's, it's a long time, those are the best projects. Yeah. Oh, I hope so. I'm excited. Me too.